This is Goodwill Minnesota's Tell Me Something Good, the show that shares the good that's happening in our community. Hi, I'm Veronica Brandon Miller, Vice President for the Goodwill Foundation and also the host of today's show. In our previous show, we talked about the background of Goodwill Minnesota and how we provide a hand up and not a handout and how when you shop or donate to Goodwill, we are helping to create a more employable community. And we are the leaders of providing job skill training and employment for people with disabilities or barriers to employment. We also mentioned how there are four impact pillars under Goodwill. One is educational, one is the economic impact, and the other one is the environmental impact. But today, we're gonna talk about the employment impact and how important it is in especially our community. We have some wonderful guests and a special guest who, a gentleman, a veteran, who is actually using our services. So right now, we are on location at our Veteran Services Office, which is located on University and Lockwood Ridge. So I encourage everybody who is looking for employment, if you need to know where our job connection locations are, go to experiencegoodwill.org or if you're looking for the veterans program, definitely come to Lockwood Ridge and University, and that's also on experiencegoodwill.org under the veterans section. So our two guests today, we're gonna start with Margie Genter, who is the Vice President of Mission Services, to talk about the overall mission aspect in employment for Goodwill and outside of Goodwill, and then also C.J. Bannister, the Director of Veteran Services, to talk about how we are helping veterans reintegrate back into the civilian workforce. So let's start the program. And now let's start talking about employment. I am here with the wonderful Vice President of Mission Services for Goodwill Minnesota, Margie Genter. Hi, Thank Veronica. you so much for coming back to the show. You are very welcome. So as we're talking about employment, we helped serve, what, 28,000 people this that's, past year. That's the number of people we served across all of our programs. Um, would you like to hear a little bit about employment at Goodwill? Absolutely, because last year we helped find 755 people placed in jobs. That's right. But also, how many people do we employ at Goodwill? Almost, almost 800 people, Veronica. That's a lot, a lot of, of people, people. A lot of people don't know that Goodwill employs that many people, but 800 people through Goodwill and another 755 through our Job Connection program. So let's talk about employment. All right. Okay. So as you know, Goodwill Minnesota is the leader in providing job skill training and employment for people with disability and barriers to employment. But how do we keep people in those jobs? Well, Veronica, if we want to talk about employment at Goodwill, when you get a job at Goodwill, you don't just get a job. You get um, a livable wage, that's mm -hmm. important to know, but it also comes with a good partner coach. So the coach is available to every single one of those nearly 800 people that work at Goodwill. Even myself? Even I've got one too. Right. <laughs> More than one, I think. <laughs> so what happens is whatever um, that individual um, would like to set as a long-term goal. Maybe they like to come and be employed at Goodwill for a short period of time and use us as a launching pad for something else. That's okay with us. We have our coach assist that person because we want them to be able to, to meet their goals. So mm -hmm. maybe they need to get a high school diploma. Maybe they need to learn to speak English. Maybe they just need a history of stable employment. Um, maybe they need referrals for other services, mental health counseling, um, division of voc rehab, any of those things that coach will be able to help them and so people do stay because they're getting exactly what they came for and we're helping them get to whatever their long-range goal is I think that's perfect and and besides 
focusing on, you know, your aspirations of moving on from Goodwill. You know, we have a lot of folks who come who just are chronically unemployed. That's true. So That's true. the Good Partner Coach also helps them put together a plan so when the car breaks down, you, you're not stressed. You understand the, the responsibilities and transportation. You're right about that. Sometimes it's financial literacy that mm. um, is what makes it so that people don't keep a job. Because if your car breaks down and you can't fix it and you can't get to work, chances are you're not going to keep that job. So we spend a lot of time with our team members. And we also have services available to the general public talking about financial literacy, about having a budget, about having money and savings for that rainy day or an emergency. Emergency. Um, we, we work with a lot of people on those issues. And when you work at Goodwill, we try to strive to make sure that you're a role model worker. That's right. One of the things that keeps people from being able to keep a job is having poor employability skills. Now, you know what I mean when I say that, right? Mm -hmm. Maybe you're not sure about coming to work on time. Maybe you're not dressed appropriately. Maybe you don't speak the way you should to your boss or your coworkers. Maybe you get angry. Maybe you've got a little <laughs> anger management issue. Not, I know that you're not talking about me. No, 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 no. Okay, <laughs> just, just, just checking. Well, we have a program called Goodwill Works. And we have identified 21 work characteristics that we think exemplify the characteristics of a role model worker. And each one of our team members gets an opportunity to take an assessment to see um, how they're doing in every one of those areas. And if they need assistance with any area having to do with their employability skills, they can get that assistance. And what I love, too, is th these are classes you can take while at work. Yes. So we're paying you to have more information on your resume. So the uh, time management, the anger management, the... There's conflict resolution, oh. there's computer literacy skills, um, mm -hmm. there's budgeting skills. All of those things are part of those 21 work characteristics that we think are essential for a person to have. And it's important because we want to make people more employable. So when you have all this aspect and uh, classes on your resume, you're more employable. You are. Uh, other employers like to know that people are coming to them with solid, soft skills. Right. Hard skills, you can train people on. Soft skills, um, if they don't come with them, sometimes it's hard for that employer to instill that work ethic in someone. So that's one of the services they can get. So we're not talking just about those who we employ. What about someone off the street? So we have these wonderful job connection offices in our community, and they are paid for through the sale of donated goods. And last year, we served about 1,300 people in those offices, mm -hmm. placed 755 of them. And what happens when you come to a job connection is we can help you identify job leads. We can help make sure you have a really good resume. We can help make sure that you know how to conduct an online job search, which is pretty important these days. Um, we'll make sure you get a chance to practice your interviewing skills. We'll provide you with job leads. So whatever it takes to get that person a job in the area that they're interested in, we'll do that in the job connection. And most important, it's free. And the reason it's free is when you donate or shop at Goodwill, you're helping Goodwill truly change lives through the power of work. That's right. And that's our mission. And so just to recap everything, we can help anybody. That's true. Anybody who's interested in looking for a job, we can help, whether it's employment at Goodwill or employment outside of Goodwill. And also provide free classes. Absolutely. So if you're looking to um, expand your resume or you're just at a loss or you know your neighbor who uh, needs a job or their son uh, just graduated from college and doesn't have anything to really put on the resume, come to Goodwill. That's what Goodwill is about. We help create a more employable community. And you can reach all this information by going to experiencegoodwill.org and go onto the employment or services page. Thank you so much. You are a plethora of information. <laughs> Thanks for inviting me to sit with you today, Veronica. I'd be happy to schedule that appointment for you. Okay, have a great day. And now we are here with the Director of Veteran Services, CJ Bannister. So as you know, Goodwill 
does focus on employment. But in 2013, we started a whole new initiative focusing heavily on veterans. And CJ is here to talk about what we're doing to help find employment for veterans. And it is important to help them reintegrate back into the civilian workforce. So how are we doing that? Well, we have lots of different options for our veterans out there and their families. I always like to say that because the spouses, they went through just as much sacrifice as the veterans did sometimes. Absolutely. So make sure veterans and their families. And um, so we have a few programs. Uh, the first fr program is the Veterans and Their Families Initiative that you started in 2013. And we continue to serve veterans in that way. We have classes held every week, um, Wednesday at 1 o'clock. And in those classes, we have job interview skills training. We have a service providers in the community that come and teach the veterans what other services are available to them. Then we have resume training. And then the final uh, Wednesday of the month, we have mock interviews where employers that are actually hiring come in and do live interviews with the veterans uh, with the suits that they get from our Suits for Vets program. Which I love. <laughs> Absolutely. And when we're talking about suits, we're talking about uh, work attire. So it might not necessarily be the suit and tie but appropriate attire for work. Absolutely. And then we also have the Homeless Veterans Reintegration Program, and that's one of our largest programs here at Goodwill Veteran Services. And in that program, we help homeless veterans. And I, I, you know, a lot of people think, are those the homeless veterans that are holding the signs on the streets? Right. Well, occasionally it is, but most of the time, it's that veteran that just got out of the military he is living in his car. He wasn't able to transition. He, or somebody's uh, uh, couch or house hopping. Absolutely. Not so a there's permanent a lot of, emplacement. Exactly. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of definitions of homeless. Um, but we want them to know that we're here to help. The transition can be difficult. I know it was for me when I got out 16 years ago. Um, I, gratefully, I wasn't ever homeless. But um, it was a difficult transition, as it is for most people. And then there's more. <laughs> okay. I know there's more. <laughs> okay. There's the SERV program, which is a special emergency resource for veterans. So S-E-R-V. Yes. Serve. Veronica came up with that, okay. which is amazing. <laughs> Thank you very much. So this is a this is an um, emergency uh, uh, program that helps fill a gap uh, for what a veteran may be waiting for assistance from the VA. Mm -hmm. A lot of times when they get out, their VA um, pension checks aren't coming in yet or their GI bills aren't coming in yet and they aren't able to, to, to pay those bills. I know I had a Marine come in that had served for six years. He came in our doors and he said, I am so embarrassed, but I, I need help. They're going to shut off my power tomorrow. I just got out three months ago and I haven't started a job yet. And, you know, that's kind of, I think, a national tragedy that, you know, he served you know six tours over in Afghanistan and can't come home and pay his power bill. Mm -hmm. And he had a wife and a child at home. So that's really what that program is designed to do. Uh, and 100% of the money that comes in goes out directly to the veteran directly. or the veteran's need. Exactly. Absolutely. We've been able to help a lot of veterans through that as well. And then the we talked about the suit, Suits for Vets. Mm -hmm. That was another uh, one of our programs. And then the final program is BRAVE. And BRAVE really is its group therapy. It's designed to be a networking um, event for veterans to really connect with each other because sometimes that's all it takes to get them back on their feet is another veteran saying, hey, I've been there. This is how I got through it. So, But it is led by a licensed mental health therapist, and that is every Wednesday at 1130. Lunch is provided, so bring your family. All veterans and their family members are invited to that group therapy. Um, it's been an incredible program in helping the transition for our local veterans and their families. Because we realize at Goodwill, veterans might not be ready for the job. And we have different aspects to make sure that you're following. You know, what, what are you good at? We do in a whole assessment because you might say, I can do anything. And then after the assessment, we realize, well, no, you can't. And let's focus your strengths on this. Or they might need that counseling. Or they might need, uh, you know, Margie was previously talking about how we provide those free classes. So if you can't read, we provide classes to help you become more employable. Um, and we have so many wonderful stories. Tell another story of someone we recently helped. Because I, I love what we do. And we are really, truly changing lives through the power of work, so. I love it. Okay, so I'll share a couple stories. Um, 
I, I, sorry, I get excited. I'm swiveling in this chair. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to stop it for you. I am so Go sorry. Ahead. Okay. So uh, uh, the first one that comes to mind is we got a phone call from a, um, a veteran's son that lived in Colorado. And they called us and said, hey, I can't reach my, my father. He was a World War II veteran, which means he's likely in his 80s or 90s. Mm -hmm. And um, could you please go do a welfare check? And so we went right out to his house, knocked on the door. And now, thank God he answered. Right. Um, but what we did for him is we donated a computer, a laptop computer, and taught him and taped step-by-step -step instructions next to his computer on how to Skype with his family. So there's little things like that that were able to help. Oh, gave me chills. Right? I mean, there's, some, there's a blessing in knowing that your father is okay when you're living, you know, thousands of miles away. Um, and then can I sell one more? Oh yeah, absolutely. There's so many, but um, I, there's a family um, that we helped that I, it is just very near and dear to my heart. They came to us living out of a van and he'd only been out, I think, three or four months. They were living in a van with three little girls and they mm -hmm. came to us. He didn't have a job yet um, and it was not a good a yeah. No, it, not at all. So not only were we able to connect him with other services here in our community like JFCS, um, to get him housed, but we also worked with Cool Today. They helped um, they provide him a job, but they also paid to have him trained to, be, to get his HVAC certification. So there's all mm -hmm. kinds of programs we can do here to, to help make a difference and change their lives. Uh, and, and we can do this, again, when you donate or shop at Goodwill, because that revenue comes to our services. So just to recap, come to the Goodwill Veteran Services uh, Program Office. It's located on University and Lockwood Ridge. Go to experiencegoodwill.org. Go under the Veterans page. You can learn about the SERVE program, the BRAVE program, the Veterans and Their Families Initiative. Uh, even we do a program called Vet to Chef. We try and help veterans and their families reintegrate back into the civilian workforce. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Always great information. And don't you love helping people? It's the most important work I've ever done in my life. That's for sure. And it's all because of the support we get from the community. So thank you. Thank you. And we heard from C.J. Bannister about what the Veteran Services Program does, but here's a true testimony. Welcome, Pat Cronin, as everyone calls him Moose. I'm not going to go into why they call you Moose, but <laughs> so as Goodwill focuses on our veterans, and we have a wonderful community out here, so we partner with Harvest House, who introduced you to Goodwill, Minnesota. Yes. So what brought you into our doors? It was mainly the uh, aspect of veterans helping veterans, that it was uh, a, a community to get my camaraderie back and, and closeness and work, we're working with veterans to, with hand ups, not handouts. Yeah, and that's all you needed. You just needed a hand up. You were in a bad situation. Yeah, I, I was punishing myself for 10 years. Oh. Yeah, that, that was my addiction was punishing myself for 10 years. Uh, There's a lot of survivor's guilt. I had to get my mind right and uh, it took me going to jail for that to happen. And then you became homeless? Um, yes, I went to transitional housing. I was sentenced to the program at Harvest House and um, they, rec they uh, referred me here about veteran with uh, the veterans helping veterans that this is a veteran run facility and um, it, I think that was the best part about it was being able to work with other veterans and being able to talk to people that I immediately could connect with. And they helped you find your passion which my understanding is cooking. Yeah so, I didn't know it was but yes. And you're loving it. Oh absolutely I'm fat I love food. <laughs> I mean. so, so talk about the Vet to Chef program that we're partnering to, with you. It, um, it, it's, I guess uh, you could say it's uh, finding passion through power of, or uh, passion and purpose through food. Mm -hmm. And um, the kitchen runs a lot like the uh, military did. The discipline, the working together, there's a lot of gears moving and a lot of moving parts, but everyone's working towards the same goal. And um, you know that the guy next to you helps you, is going to help you with what you need to get done. 
and that's I, I think one of the best aspects of it, the discipline and it just brought back other aspects and traits that we had in the military and it just I love it absolutely love it. being able to use my creativity that I, I had didn't know how to focus it I, and now it's through cooking and yeah. what is your specialty I don't have one I love it all <laughs> I, honestly I love it all I want to learn as much as I can but and what I, I love about our program is besides helping you learn your passion you get certified and we actually help you find a job yeah, yes ma'am so I mean that is a true hand up because and hopefully after all of this you come back and you volunteer and help the next veteran would that be great that's what I do I've been doing since I got out of jail has been helping other veterans or helping someone in the same situation with me. I'm a convicted felon, so naturally that has a stigma on it, and I'm a disabled veteran with PTSD, so that's another stigma. You know, you get these kind of judgmental type people, and immediately someone thinks, you know, oh, they're a bad person, or that I'm a bad person, or, you know, that I'm dangerous, but that's, that's not how it is. It's just, you know, I made some mistakes. I was a bad, I did, was doing bad things, and and took me getting my mind right and connecting with other veterans to find my passion and my purpose in life and uh, to become who I want to be and work towards who I want to be. And give you that second chance. Yes, ma'am. Because it's important. Thank you for your service, first of all, and <laughs> the fact that we're able to help that at the end of the day, I think is the most important. And so we are blessed to have you in the community and blessed that we are able to help you. So thank you so much for sharing your story with us. Not a problem. And for Any more, way I can give back. Anyway, and he's going to be cooking for us as soon as you get your certification, <laughs> right? I yes. can't wait. So for more information on our veterans program, go to experiencegoodwill.org slash veterans. Thank you so much for joining us today and thank you CJ, Margie, Moose and the entire Veteran Services team for helping to provide this information so you know when you donate or shop at Goodwill how you are helping us create a better and more employable community and most importantly changing lives through the power of work. I'm Veronica Brandon Miller and until next time I hope you continue to share the good that's happening in our community. Thank you.